All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechachwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And I wanted to do a response video to a video that was done by the beloved brother Yasha Wamba. You know, I wanted to add my input to this video right here. And this video is based on a proud statement that was made by this devil. And that he said that he will become a God. And if anybody gets in his way, they will die. Okay. And, um, you know, you know, when I first heard that statement, the first thing that came to my mind is, um, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? There's a scripture on that. See if I can get it real quick. I believe that's the book of Romans. So let's go to the book of Romans real quick. Okay. Romans chapter eight, verse. I don't know the exact verse, but. Let's see. Here. OK, here we go. Right. Romans chapter eight, verse thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress? And what comes with tribulation? Death, you know, evil, persecution. Okay. Okay. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? And what is the purpose of a sword to kill? Now, he said that he will become a God. And if anybody get in their way, they will die. He say he said that if he dies, talking about this proud devil right here. OK, the ball headed cracker. He said that, you know, if he dies, you will die. You know, put it in so many words, you know, which, you know, we're, we're not carnal people at the end of the day. All we're doing is bringing out the word of Yahweh, which we know the word of Yahweh to be Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word of Yahweh. And guess who has power over life and death? Yahweh does. OK, let's get that real quick. Then I'll, I'll come back to there because this this proud ass devil said, you know, well, if I die, you die. Well, let's see what first Samuel's two and six have to say. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. You see that? So it's the Lord who killeth and maketh alive. You know, <laughs> you, you demons, you ain't got no power. I mean, you devils, <laughs> you know, <laughs> talking about your Edomites. The self-proclaimed white man, you have no power over life or death. You can only do what the father has given you. OK. OK, what did Yahweh Shai tell Pilate in the book of Matthews, the 26th chapter? Or it could be the 27th chapter. Pilate said, well, what did he say to Yahweh Shah? He said, know ye not that I have power to, um, in so many words, he said, know ye not that, that I have power to, to deliver you to death. Or, 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 or uh, he said, know ye not that I have power to deliver you to be crucified. And what was, what was Yahweh Shah's response? He said that, uh, uh Yahweh Shah said, um, the power that has been given you has been given to you from from on high. Just roughly paraphrasing. OK. 
Let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see. For the Lord, let me see. Vengeance, recompense. See. So um, I believe it is Deuteronomy uh, 32. I might have passed it up already. Okay. Let me see. Let me see, Joshua Ron. Deuteronomy 31. Okay. See now that I am he. The Lord said that in so many words, but I'm trying to find it now. Okay. It could be Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter. So excuse me for that if I, if I own. Okay, here it is. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So this devil, this devil said, if he dies, you die. But but who has the power to kill? Yahweh does. Yahweh has control over life and death. Remember when our people tried to throw Yahweh Shai off a mountain? What happened? Yahweh Shai disappeared in the midst of a crowd of people. Okay, those those wicked Israelites tried to stone Yahweh Shai. What happened? Yahweh Shai disappeared in the midst of a crowd of people. Okay. Who delivered Elijah from, from the death of famine during the time of a famine? Was it not Yahweh? Bahashom Yahweh Shai? Who delivered King David from, from death when, when fighting against Goliath? It was Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai who did. Okay. Who, who delivered Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego from, from, from being burned to death in, in, in the furnace? It was Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. Okay. So let's see if I can find that. Um, as a matter of fact, it'd probably help if I just go here and type in Bible. Okay. Pilate made a proud ass statement. <laughs> you know, that, that bald headed cry, hey, hey, he might be Pilate in a reincarnation. The way, way he was talking. Pilate said unto Yahweh Shai, know ye not that that I have power to crucify to crucify you. Okay. So John chapter nine, verse 10 to 11. Let's get that into KJV. Okay. I'm pretty sure he said the same thing in the book of Matthews, but let's just read this one right here. Okay. Uh, John chapter nine, verse 10. Then saith Pilate unto him, unto who? Unto, unto Yahweh Shai. Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Now, let's see what Yahweh's response was. Let's read verse 11. Okay. Yahweh answered, thou couldst have no power at all against me except they were given thee from above. Ooh, you see that? So, so all the, all this power, right? All this power that these devils have, it was given to them from above. Okay. 
but but they can't see that because there's nothing spiritual about Esau. Esau thinks that, you know, they took us down of their own strength and, and their own might, their own wisdom and power. Nah, the only reason why y'all took us out of power was because it was prophesied to happen. OK, and when you read Numbers 23, verse 19, it tells you that Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and have he not made it made it good? Because in the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, what did Isaac say to um, Esau? He said, and it shall come to pass when he shall have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. When did that happen? During the Renaissance period. OK, and, and, and during the Renaissance period, what was going on? We was getting taken out of power and, and we was going into slavery. OK, so so um, the fact that during the Renaissance period. The fact that during this, the Renaissance period, we were taken out of power, <laughs> and you know, that 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 proves that the Lord is not a man that he should lie. OK. Because during the Renaissance period, this devil was basically breaking our yoke off his neck because well, what is a yoke used for is used for retaining somebody and keeping them in captivity. And that's what Isaac told Esau. And it shall come to pass when he who who's the he the he is Jacob. When Jacob shall have the dominion that thou who's the thou that's Esau. Thou Esau shall break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happened during the Renaissance period. So you devils didn't take us out of power be, uh, because you're, you're, you're stronger than us because. The, the Lord said in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, that we were naturally stronger than you, you devils, you, you Edomites, you self-proclaimed white people. We're naturally stronger than y'all mentally, spiritually, physically, mentally, spiritually, physically. OK. All you got to do is look at sports who dominate sports. We do. OK. Who 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 dominates MMA and martial arts and kung fu? We do. Okay, who invented kung fu? Who started kung fu? We did. Martial arts. Who started that? We did. Okay, those samurais back in the past. That that those were our people. Okay, the dynasty warriors, the army of Wu, the army of Wei, the army of Shu. Okay, Lu Bu. Those were all our people. OK, you know, and, and Dynasty Wars was all about con control over China, even though it, it was not called China back then. OK, but that was our people, you know, warring against each other for 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 power. Because the Lord raised us up to be warriors. OK, Yashar Allah, break that down. We are the sons of God. OK, and, and it's not even the first time we, we, we warred against each other. OK, all you have to do is read the book of Second Kings. OK, the, sec the book of Second Kings is all about kings going to war, the, the, the kings of our nation going to war against one another. Some of us will form alliances. To fight against heathens. But you read the book of Second Kings, man, and, and that was a lot of those kings. Was was basically the kings of our nation fighting against each other. Nothing new under the sun. OK. And when you look at Dynasty Warriors, it's basically our people fighting against one another. The uh, Sengoku period down in Japan. I look at a lot of them samurais that were fighting and killing each other. That was our people. OK. And that proves that history repeats itself. OK. Same spirits coming back. So you, you, you devils, you, you ain't saying nothing, man. Okay. But anyways, let's go back to, um, Romans, you know, you know what? Let me finish that up in John uh, 19. Okay. John chapter 19, verse 11. Yahweh answered to Pilate, thou couldst have no power at all against me, except they were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee have the greater sin. 
<laughs> okay, so Yahweh Shai said it, man. Okay. You know, Yahweh Shai said it. Thou, thou, thou couldst have no power at all against me except it were given thee from above. And who gave you devils the, the power that you have now? Yahweh did. As a matter of fact, let's prove that. Let's go to Daniel's. Let's prove that the Lord gave you devils your, your power. You, you proud, you proud as crackers. Okay, you motherfuckers ain't shit. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High, whose true name is Yahweh, in Paleo Hebrew, okay, he only has one name and that's Yahweh, and the Son only has one name and that's Yahweh Shai. That the living may know that the Most High, Yahweh, ruleth in the kingdom of men and, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Okay. So the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men and he giveth it. He giveth what? The rulership of the kingdom to men. He giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it, over, or over what? Over the earth, the bases of men. So the, uh, according to the Holy Scriptures, the basis of men is in rulership. And, and who are known as the basis of men? The Edomites are. Okay, Job said that. Let's, let's, let's get that real quick. Okay. Jo Job called them children of fools, children of base men. That's how you know he's, that's how you know he's, he's talking about Edomites. <coughs> okay, let's go to the book of Job. Excuse me. Okay. They were children of fools. KJV. Let's go. Yep, Job 30. Okay. So let's go up a bit so you can understand who this is talking about, because there's only one nation of people who lived up in the mountains, which will be the clefts, what the Bible would call the clefts of the rocks. You know, let's start at verse four, Job 30 and four, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Who's known for eating juniper roots? Cavemen. You Edomites, you were cavemen, okay? You got pushed up into the mountains when uh, King David got into rulership, okay? And, and a lot of y'all, he, he had y'all as slaves. It says they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Yeah, because you Edomites, you, you, you're y'all were the biggest thieves on the planet. Y'all still lands, continents, countries, Heritages, nationalities, to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. That's how you know it's talking about Edomites, okay? Okay, all you got to do is look, go to Google, type in Mount Petra. Let's go to Google, type in Mount Petra. Hold on, images. Then we're going to type in Mount Petra. Mount Petra. And what do you see right here? You see a, a bunch of pillars that lead to the inside of a cave. Who did that? The Chinese people didn't build this shit. Japanese people didn't build this. The whole the uh, Japhetic people did not build this. The Ishmaelites, which are the Arabians, didn't build this. The Africans didn't build this. You Edomites did. Y'all built this. Okay. So it says to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Okay, you Edomites, you so-called white people. That was you got you people who built that place. Y'all were living up in them caves. Among the bushes, they bray. Under the nettles, okay, and when you bray, 
you basically sound like a donkey. So y'all was y'all was up in there. <laughs> okay. Among the bushes they braid under the nettles, they were gathered together. Verse 8. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And that's how you know when the scriptures say the bases of men, that is talking about Edomites. Okay. The Lord set it up over it, the bases of men. And who are the bases of men? The Edomites are, which would be the self-proclaimed white man, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. Now, let's go back to the book of Romans. <clears throat> Chapter eight. Verse, let me see. Okay, Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who could be against us? You devils can threaten us all you want. But guess what? This truth is still going to go out. And even if we do die, you know, Lord's will, we die faithfully for Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay, we're not scared of you fucking devils or, or, or any of your technology, okay? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Okay. Now I'm going to skip down to verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death. That's the first thing Paul listed was death. <laughs> this devil, this oh, hold on, this, this this proud ass devil, this proud devil right here is talking about, you know, if I die, you die. <laughs> but hold on though, hold on. Well, what did Paul say? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, which will be demons, nor powers, was another word for power, gods, right? Didn't he say that uh, they were becoming gods? Well, guess what? You becoming a god is not going to separate the Lord's elect from, from loving Yahweh Shai, from, from the love of Yahweh Shai. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm of the elect. I hope to be of the elect. Nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai, for from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. So, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. So, on to the next one.